Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the workshop and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Now, today we should be carrying on with the log basket project. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to heat this section up here that we have welded. We're going to heat it up. We're going to round it off a little bit so it so that it's actually circular. It doesn't look like an egg. You can't have an egg log basket, it just doesn't go. So anyway, we're gonna make it circular by it up. Then we shall probably reweld it as well as it will stop gaping crap in it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two rings that are roughly the same size and roughly circular. Happy days. Nice and important for this. So, on to the next thing. Right, so... Ooh! That's quite cool. That's it, yes. Right, anyway. We are the way. Quite gotten actually. This is just a bit of scrap metal and it turns out it's about 10 and a half inches, which is what I need. So I'm going to use that to space these out between each other. And the problem is, I need to put this on whilst trying to balance them out. Oi, Heine. Oh. Could I make a possible suggestion? You may, sir. Using the earth clamp to hold the tops of the two rings together. Well, <laughs> oh, you dare! Oh, well, do till you melt. I'm breaking, stop it. No! Nah. It's like watching something out of the Three Stooges. <laughs> well, Link. Okay. I've made a thing that rolls back and forth, and it's not level. You're a numpty. I'm not a numpty, that's a numpty. I'm never a numpty, I'll do everything right. Looks like it should suffice. Still flipping over. There you go. Oh, come on, let's be fair. Hang on a minute. Well, that's not the worst. Not the worst, but it's not the best. Well, yeah, you're work in progress. Yeah. I'm going to reweld this top part. There you go, it looks a bit better. Cool. You have made a thing. I have made a thing. Not the prettiest of things, but it's nonetheless a thing. And it's a glowing thing as well. Which is just so much better. Let's have a look. Nothing that a grinder can't fix. <laughs> That's just me. That is just... Hmm. There you go, I've made a thing. Yeah, let's have a look, seriously, let's have a look. And can I have a look at the inside? Well done, sir. Thank you, sir. Probably one of my least favourite parts. Let's see, sticking the part in the bottom which you need to put the lugs on. Now, the reason it was one of my least favourite parts is because the intricate detail that we need. By intricate detail, 
I mean, you have to measure. Mm -hmm. well. No, carry on. Okay. If by intricate detail, I mean that the edges of these dumaflotches need to be flush with the edge of this dumaflotchie. Now it should be fine because it's quite big, so I'm just trying to figure out how many I can put in. Right, so let's see. Six, seven, seven. Let's go seven. Is seven an unlucky number? No. Okay, good. So we've got one that is. I might have to work in metric, Dad. You use that word in my workshop. No, I don't think I'm. Uh, I'm not sure. It's. it's not quite eleven and one quarter, it's not quite eleven and a half. It's in between. <laughs> How many things are there in between? One, two, three. Who came up with the imperial system? That's just silly. What? How many things are in there in between? Eleven point one, two, three, four, five. Eleven point six. Inches. <laughs> we could go with like eight point eight centimeters. That's interesting. Hang on. Eight point eight centimeters would be. Oh wait, twenty eight. Yeah. <laughs> twenty eight point eight. And eleven point <coughs> six inches there. That's close. <laughs> What do you think? Do you think it would fit? <laughs> 28.8 is a silly tape measure. It's, it hasn't got the things, it's just got 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Not 10. 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so on and so forth. But there's a pencil, sir. Do you have a pencil on you? Or is there a pencil somewhere kicking around? Very interesting pencil. Is that eleven point six or eight point eight? <laughs> yep, that is eleven point six. <laughs> People on the internet know what I mean. That scares me. <laughs> That's fine because no one could have a lower IQ than me. No, don't knock yourself. What? I'm complimenting myself a little bit. No. Yeah. Right, so we've got 11.6 inches, I think, and 8.8 .8 centimetres. This is going to be such a long video. You're not using the junior hacksaw then, using the grown-up hacksaw. Yeah. Simple, I told you won't be on the floor. Yeah. Now, you see, if we got a hacksaw, then I might be able to do that. Mm. So let's see if this is 8.8 centimetres. Damn! I'm a little bit off. Hmm. Never mind, you grind the rest off. <laughs> well, that is. Do the numbers confuse you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Top set maths. <laughs> Mind the hot end. It's 11.5. No! <laughs> Edit that bit out, it'll be fine. <laughs> right, so we have our 11.5, uh, 6 uh, inch. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
We've got 11.6 inch, 5 inch, uh, that'll do. So we've just got a measurement of metal that fits. Right? Already? Welding. That looks like a pretty good. That's kind of hot. That should. Oh, hey! I've attached the thing to a thing. Now we could do the same on the other end. Is that level? It's got to go here. What's going on? Never mind, that'll do. Ready? Loading. So there we go. And we've got burning oil as well. So we've got one of the Dumaflotchis done. Now we need to stick a whole load of more Dumaflotchis on. So, we're going to stick one hit on. That'd be the tape measure. Turn that off. Do you not just lay it on and mark it with a pencil? That'll do. Hmm? You lay it on there, mark it with a pencil, it'll be right. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that before? And miss out on all that education. <laughs> You're so mean to me. I'm not mean. Your candy floss and rainbows. Mine the hot bits. Yeah, I just realised it was hot. Because this is at an angle, you might have to use the angle finder. Stick in the power hacksaw at a slight tilter. We can do that. and your foot doesn't feel right. <laughs> there we go, we have had a Dimiflossi, and a Dimiflossi then. I'm hoping this Dimiflossi works, because if it doesn't then I'll be some other annoying. There you go, let's just have some Dimiflossi on. So, Let's get down to the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and possibly seventh. <laughs> Now it's um, got all seven pieces done, uh, relatively lined up, quite nice space in between them. Um, yeah, rather quite in line, I think, with the middle, so it's quite nice. We just need to give the welds a little bit of a clean up, and then we should go into the next piece, which will probably be the B hand on top of the feet along the bottom. So let's get to it. Right, so what I'm thinking is I've got these two pieces um, for the feet, I might make that long because I'm going to put a scroll on each end so it's probably going to end up about that long maybe should hopefully be alright for it um, so I'll cut this down to that size um, 
Uh, we should get to forging. Right, so we've got this piece of metal here. Stick it in the forge. And that's it. We're going to put a wee little scroll on it. I'm going to do this by eye, not by any jig. So it may come out horribly wrong. It may come out quite nicely. I need to do the same with the other ones. So let's wipe this up with my heat proof gloves on. <laughs> right, let's find this up. So we're just going to start doing this round. Easy. It's got a scroll on there, we're going to do the same to the other side. That should be one of our legs. That doesn't look a bit of a different bit off. Well, that should be one of our legs done to go at the bottom. It's still the same thing. down now and we get started on the other one.
It's a little bit better. Uh, just about the exact same on the dips, so that's most important. So, I'm gonna let them cool off. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make the handle to go onto the top of it. As soon as we're at the forge. So we're gonna make use this, make it into a handle as well. Make use this to make the handle. Yeah, we'll stick this in. Same sort of design. Um, little dip in it, but going the other way this time, so it's, you can actually hold on to it. Same sort of scrolls, just a little bit smaller, really. There you go. We're gonna turn it on, heat it up, and do the scrolls. Well, look at that. It's always in the ground. Right, so we have our handle. We're going to luckily just where the frog's hair fits there, on like that. So we're going to stick it on there, like that. And, and that will be our handle all done, and then we can stick the legs on. So, welding. I've made a thing! I can stick these a hunk of a chunk of pieces of metal on. Oh my god! Now, yeah, just tap, tap welded them on the inside. Should hold, I think. What do you think? I reckon it should hold. It's only not actually really holding them on. So, yeah, it should be fine. So, ladies and gentlemen. to ruin it, didn't you? <laughs> I'm kidding, thank you. Gold. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> right. Redo that then. Yeah. Even better thing than the previous thing that I made. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have made a big flipping log basket in three. What time did we start? Two, three and a half, three hours and forty-five minutes. Yes. There you go. Quite pleased with that. Right, so yes. That'll be it for this video, top part two of making an log basket. Thank you so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 
Well, let's just say I'm really, I'm really pleased with this. Big. Mm, call it big. Big scoot. So yes, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a good day. Good night wherever you are. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please turn on notifications if you haven't already so you do not miss out on any new videos. I'm getting good at that part. So yes, hope you have a good day wherever you are. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.